Ladies and gentlemen, even though we don't have steering wheels in the game yet, in this video I'll show you how to build a plane in LEGO Fortnite that you can also change directions with. I saw that several other people also made videos about this, but they had very difficult constructions. There's actually a really easy way to do this. Also, I'm making this in sandbox because I didn't want to grind all of the materials again, but this is also very doable within survival. Alright, so I start off with a little wood foundation. The reason for this is because the floor is not flat everywhere, and I like to use the snap tool to make everything loot neatly. There's a button that you need to press in order to use snap mode. This means that all of your builds will be directly put together and there's not going to be a difference in height and stuff like that. For me, I'm playing with an Xbox controller, so I have to use the left trigger. Select the dynamic foundation and make a square with four pieces of them. Once you're done with that, switch over to the large thrusters and then on one side of your square, put as many of them as you possibly can. I think the maximum that you can fit on there is eight. Switch back over to your foundation pieces again and this time build a higher foundation block. You can then select a longer piece to put on there but this one is optional, it's only for aesthetics if you want it. Okay, so here's the important part. Depending on which direction you want to go towards, if you want to go left, you need to put a small thruster on the right side of the foundation. And if you want to go right, you need to put a small thruster on the left side of the foundation. Next thing, you're going to put an activation switch anywhere on the plane. And since the front side is now a bit heavier due to the foundation, put two small balloons on that side. And then the only thing left to do is put large balloons on there. Every dynamic foundation gets one large balloon in order to be able to lift it up. You have to be a little quick when you're placing these because otherwise it's going to tilt and you might fall off. If that happens in sandbox, there's no reason to worry because you can just fly back up there. But if it happens in survival, it's pretty safe to say you've lost your ship. Now, once this has been done all correctly and you're up in midair, just press the activation switch in order to fly. If you want to go to the other side, break the thruster and then put it on a different side. And if you just want to go straight ahead, break the small thruster and press the activation switch. Technically, this should also work on a car, but there are a lot more things you have to take into account. For example, hills and stuff like that. If I find a good design, I'll share it with you guys. 